I have been scarred emotionally by these in the past. What's up everybody, my name is Alex, welcome back to yet another trading video, the first one in a really long time because truth be told I was absolutely too lazy to edit all my reviews. A part of that is because I severely overtraded, I'm going to talk about this at the end of this video. But I had a really solid day today, I only had one trade but that resulted in a $125 profit for today which means that I'm 300 bucks up on the week. Also again in the simulator, not really with my real account because I'm still trying to figure out my trading style and the strategies I want to trade. And speaking of strategies, I actually diverted from what I usually do. So usually I trade trends. So I'm looking for a specific trend. I wait for a pullback, I enter, it's like that. Um, but in the last few days, I noticed that this doesn't really work. It's not really that easy. So I've been trying to trade ranges and trying to figure out if there is something else that I can do apart from trading the trend. I downloaded a couple of books, but I still have to really grind through those and actually test all the things that are written inside. Anyways, let's get started. I already drew all the trend lines here. So there was a trend tunnel that I saw here, but it didn't really hold up as you will see. The green line right here was a test to see if maybe this is a support line that holds up over time. It wasn't really all that accurate. It kind of just gave me an idea of what to maybe expect. And as you can see, we broke the trend tunnel right here and we entered into this really choppy area. Now these choppy areas, I don't really have a stable relationship with. I have been scarred emotionally by these in the past but I'm trying to rekindle somewhat of a friendship with these things. So that's what I tried trading today. Basically what I was thinking to myself is that if we do trade in these ranges, then maybe I just buy at the lower side of this range and sell higher. I remember I said before that that's um, not a very safe strategy to follow and it still isn't in my opinion, but I just wanted to try it out today. Okay, so I put a buy limit order at the lower end of this range because I saw that there was a certain level that the price action didn't go below and I wanted to take advantage of that. So my stop loss is usually two points below my entry and the low of a previous candle here was really just one point difference. So I felt pretty good about it. I moved it up a little bit um, because the price action didn't really come back down to that um, previous low, which is actually a really good sign, or at least for me it was at the time. And then eventually the order does get filled. Okay, order was filled and immediately we can see that the price was rebounding to the upside. And as I said, my stop loss is actually below the low of this candle right here. Theoretically speaking, I could have moved it up to this candle, but I didn't really feel like it because I felt safe enough in the price action moving upwards. And just took a couple of seconds and we see target number one was filled. And the second target was a little bit too high up, I think. I mean, it kind of made it there, but at some point I just called it and sold right there because I do want to protect my profits. Um, if I had not taken this trade right there, it would have actually stopped out at my new stop loss. And I would have walked out at like um, $62.50 profit. So that's about half of what I made. So again, I like to protect my profits. I like to protect my money rather than chasing more profit. So price action continued. We actually see that we did move up and we um, broke yesterday's high, which is pretty good and I just wanted to see now if this really is a trend. So what I'm looking at is number one, here we have a double top, actually not a good sign. I really don't like trading those. Um, and now I wanna see, does the price action go below the previous green candle or do we find support at this line and move higher up? So I got my order in above the high of this red candle thinking that maybe it would go up nicely. Especially here, because we can see that this is actually a pretty bullish bar. But the price really struggled to go higher and to even go back to the level of these two highs, like these two candles. So I really didn't feel comfortable with the trade and eventually I just, I just closed it. But nonetheless, it actually showed that we did find some level of support. 
not really a support level that I would feel comfortable trading, but we did nonetheless find support and moved higher. And eventually we came back down to test the support level again. And what can I say? The support actually held up. We had a one, two, three, so we had a triple bottom, which is pretty good. And this would have actually been a really nice entry above this red candle right here, but I wasn't uh, fast enough and I also didn't feel too comfortable about it, even though we had a really good conference. Yeah, price minute level just moved up. That would have actually been a really nice trade. Okay, we came back down to test this support level a third time and support did hold up and we did make a higher high right here. So the accumulation was a little bit higher than it was right here, which again would have been a really nice uh, entry just above this red candle. And another really good signal later on was when the price actually found support along the 21 SMA. And that also would have been a really nice entry just above this red candle because price action did move quite a bit. And I think we took a lot of um, stop losses over this level right here, which is why it went up very quickly. So that would have been nice. That would have been really, really nice. I'm just trapping all the people that have their stop losses up here from going short. So that would have been really cool. But alas, I didn't. I was a little bit um, too slow on my entries today. Um, didn't really feel that unbelievably comfortable. And as I said, with the $125 that I actually already made with only one trade, I feel absolutely perfect. Like this is my daily target pretty much achieved. And I really don't want to risk then losing $200 on my next trade and maybe even walking out with a loss for the day. So I'm really happy taking the 125. I learned my lesson about overtrading the last couple of days and that actually shows my performance for this week. So you can see this is only the second day in this week that I'm trading, but I'm at a pretty good win percentage. I didn't overtrade and I made pretty good profit, so $150 on average. And when I check last week's performance, you can see what I mean. I overtraded severely on the 14th with only $112 profit on the day and an $87.50 loss on the 15th. So that really wasn't good. And as you can see right here, the win percentage is just absolutely atrocious. <laughs> I'm absolutely not comfortable going in with real money while having this kind of a win percentage. So I want to be over a period of maybe two to three weeks, I want to have at least on average a win percentage of 75%. I would feel more comfortable around the 80%, but as I said, that's where I have to review my strategies and how I'm trading, how comfortable I am in the market. and see how it's going. Anyway, so far from me today, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do have any questions, leave them below in the comments and I will see you tomorrow. Probably not tomorrow. I don't know when I do another video, but there's another video coming soon. See you guys later.